today on the North American Journeyman. The closing stage has come to an end, and we're off to the semifinals. Play against Olympia, a two-legged tie today. We haven't lost a game since November, so that's zero losses in six months. Yeah, so we're cruising right along. I'll show you right here. Platensi. One of the closing games of the opening stage was November 5th. And we're on to May 6th today against Olympia. So six months without a loss. That's pretty good. We're crushing it. Um, Olympia is on a decent run of form, though. They beat Real España. So in the closing stage, the two best teams, outside of us, obviously, are Olympia and Real España, and they finished fourth and fifth. Real España looks like they were on bad form to finish the year, though. So they lose to Olympia, and the other side of the bracket is Victoria versus, I believe, Marathon. It is Marathon. So, first leg, straight out. Let's get into it. I'm ready to go win some more silverware. I think the team is pretty well set. Nunez on the right, Garcia and Maradiaga. They still don't have a partnership, annoyingly. Costa and Lagos do, though. Lagos still hasn't scored a goal. Yanku and Chiari have a partnership. Martinez and Flores have a partnership. He's fully back from injury. Garcia. Um, Lacayo went down injured. So he's probably going to miss the most of the rest of the season. But Zuniga, who's been out for the entire closing stage is back but this youngster Garcia right here has been playing really well for us so he gets the start we play Olympia we've owned them we have changed our tactic around a little bit I think it was getting just a little stale it's tough to say that when you haven't lost in six months let's do it for the fans I feel like at this point I'm running out of things to say in the locker room it's like hey let's keep our streak going and you say that for like two months straight. And the players are just like, okay, we get it, right? We're on a streak. Stop reminding us. They've got some good young players. Look how many regens they're already playing. Oh, and remind me somehow. How would you remind me? I'll try and remind myself. There's a regen in Honduras that I just stumbled across at Montagua. A left back who's 16. We just had youth intake. Ours was okay. Nothing to stand out, but Montagua is producing worldies because they made a left back who's 16. And he's going to be straight into the World Cup squad. Here we go. Attacking corner. Adolfo Martinez. Let's effing go. Good start here. Away from home. He's such a good aerial threat. You know, I just near post to Martinez. It's almost, I always go back and forth between Martinez and Martinez. It's Martinez. But he scored a lot of header goals. So I'm pretty excited about that little regen coming in. We're close to, after this two legged tie, we named the preliminary World Cup squad. Shouldn't be too many surprises, but we were looking pretty weak at a backup left-back position, so that guy, is, he's straight in. Oh, that's Kiotti straight in on goal, and he's on. Looked like he took a deflection there, but Lagos, with more assists. Kiotti's loving it. Acosta, since we've run in Lagos, Acosta has gotten better too. Yeah, it took a little slight deflection from the right back, but Chiotti runs right onto it, and he is. He's saying, Barnett? Barnett who? From Delphines? Should have been playing me the whole time, because I show up in big games. Whereas Barnett kind of fell off a little bit. He didn't really perform too good. Back in the old Caribbean Cup days,
Well, I mean, we just own Olympia. They usually play pretty close in terms of like XG, possession, chances, and stuff like that. But then we beat them 3 0, 4 2, stuff like that. So we are their father now. Good tackle from Iyanku to Kiati. He likes to take a little dribble, which at first it really bothered me, but he's actually pretty good at it. Nunez, Flores, looking for something here. Just work it around. Patience over the top. Beautiful ball, Garcia. Plays it back, and that's probably going to be a penalty. It is. And Adolfo takes these. The left back, Acosta. And he slams it in the bottom right corner. 3-0. Sorry, it's Danilo Acosta. Adolfo is Martinez. Acosta. Beautiful job. Beautiful. 3-0. Let's pick up some more silverware. Going for Martinez again. Chiotti, distant effort. Karangs off the crossbar. Lagos. Oh, cheeky. We've had some moments here. Another close effort for Martinez. We've had... I haven't shown all the highlights. Maybe I'll try and pull up a compilation if I can remember where they were. But I'm talking Rabona crosses. I'm talking, here's a header off. Oh, can he finish it off? Lagos is there. Lagos still can't score his first goal. He still hasn't scored, and that's about the best opportunity you're going to have. Whew. But yeah, Rabona crosses from the guys. Why we'll center backs doing bicycle kicks. I didn't score, obviously. I haven't had a bicycle kick that's gone in since I've played in 20, FM24, but... I mean, I'm hap I'm just happy. I hope we don't get complacent here, but... Like, I just need Lagos to score a goal before the World Cup. That would be good. Everybody's stoked. They have a really good young striker. That's not a good pass. That's a good interception, though. Garcia, what can he do with it? Yonku now takes the shot. Marathon is beating Victoria. I think Victoria was our last draw, possibly. Maybe there was one before that, but... Victoria is pretty decent in this closing stage. All right. Awkward tackle attempt there from the right winger, Garcia. Flores, that's a good young striker. I'm thinking about bringing to the World Cup. Probably not, though. They're in good space here. That should be... Oh, that's, that's an interesting clearance from Lagos. Just trying to maybe play it out of the back, try to play it to Flores, but that didn't come off too well. Let's see exactly what happens here. He's tracking back good. Here he is. He just needs to clear that one out. Instead, he clears it right back to Lopez. It's 3-1. Their left winger. Goalkeeper's on a 6.3. Yeah, he should be. Flores isn't playing very good, and he's on a yellow. Still trying to teach Vargas this position. He doesn't love it. Might take Ionku. Oh, no. No. I think we'll probably take Garcia off. We do need to make a hefty amount of subs, though, to be honest, because the second leg is in, like, two days. Probably Lagos, just to show him. Like, hey, I don't appreciate that level of defensive acumen when you're trying to close out a game in the league semifinal to the most reputable and historic club in Honduras. Highlight coming in here. Not before, well, I mean, before we make a sub here, we're going to make a couple. We're going to bring in Zuniga so he can get a little fitness as well because he's been out injured the entire time. Lakayo will probably miss the rest of the season. 
So he's kind of our second option there in the right wing. Good. Just shrugs him aside, gives him a little shoulder, Maradiaga. That's why he's going to the World Cup. There we go. Garcia drives in, loses it. Yonku's there. Needs to work the ball a little bit better, a little bit quicker. To Chiotti. Falls to Reyes, though. What can he do with it? Little pass to Martinez. Takes a shot. Finds the space. So much activity condensed right in front of the goalkeeper's face. He could have picked either corner. Looks like he takes the more difficult option, but just slots it in the net. It's 4-1. to one, And we own Olympia again. Beautiful. Yeah, Chiotti's not sitting offside, I don't think. Maybe they could have ruled it out for that if they really wanted to. But man, this team is so good. Uh, I guess we can give Acosta a little time. Oh, Kill Fox is back from his injury, finally. So we'll bring him in. Header here. Reyes get to it. The highlight ends. I don't believe there's away goals, but if there is, four is a pretty good number to be on. Flores in space. Begnouche off the post, though. Let's just grab a fifth. How about that? Let's just let's just do that. We're playing dribble less. Ball straight through to Chiotti. He can take some dribbles, though. Two rips a shot. Usually don't like when my strikers dribble very much, but he's actually pretty decent at it. And that's going to close things out. Play through the middle, dribble less. Those are pretty much the only things I changed. Take long kicks, because we were trying to build out of the back a little too much. So we had to... And we still wouldn't, wouldn't get much possession, so I think we were building too quickly... And then the shots weren't good. So that's kind of what I was seeing. I mean, that's amazing. That's We did fantastic. Nobody really dominated the game. Just all-around good performance. Martinez, probably. 8.2, but he chips in with 9s and 10s sometimes. So, All right, that's good stuff. Good job. Two goals. Yeah, I mean, he's... He's a beast, and he's getting he's just getting better and better, too. When I first picked him up, too, he was unambitious. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you the guy. Man, oh, man. Yeah, Honduran's fine. Um... Roberto Moncada. Look at this guy. For Montagua. Already valued somewhere between 200 and 2 million. 19 teamwork, 17 work rate, 15 technique. Look at his mentality. I mean, look at his attributes, if you can see it behind me. This guy is crazy good. He's a mercenary, which I like in a left back. I actually really like that in a left back. Attacking full, I mean, he's he's amazing. So that just brings us to a discussion, as I'll just click through and we'll get ready for the next game. Of first of all, am I just creating players? to bolster up my own national team? No, because I would make a good center back, first of all. Second of all, I do have this editor up here. I'm actually not sure why it's on, on this save, because the only time that I was using it or when I did a, a test save where I simulated about eight seasons and I, I turned the editor on to look at what the if the competitions were increasing in reputation or decreasing based on club performance in CONCACAF, and no, they don't. They don't change at all. So they stayed the same. I didn't look at anything other than that. I didn't look at youth rating. I didn't adjust youth rate. I didn't adjust anything 
but we're producing players like that as regens, and there's a lot of good regens in Honduras that I've been finding. Not like a worldy amount, but enough to make you go, hmm. And what I'm thinking is, I think Tom FM just did a video about the importance of youth rating. And I don't know what the youth rating is in Honduras or Mexico or anywhere. The only youth ratings I know of are Silesias, Poland's, and Czechias. And I didn't even commit those to memory from building that save because I had to pick a youth rating and I wanted it to be fair for Silesia. But honestly, just having the leagues loaded is going to improve the level of the North American, probably nations, because all of the clubs for all of the nations in CONCACAF are loaded, you know, to a amateurish level, you know, pretty much top divisions of every single country in CONCACAF. I mean, we're up 4-1. Do we want to rest some players? Yeah, maybe Garcia. I mean, look at how fit we are. Mara Diaga's on a yellow, but he's the only one. I think we'll actually bring in Rodas for him. I'm okay with that. Other than that, I think just more of the same, right? Maybe Ionku. Let's go Romero for Ionku. And Garcia is actually building fitness, and so is Lago. So we'll just keep it as is. So that's actually encouraging and exciting to me because it means that you know you can prioritize which portion of the world you want to build up in football manager potentially just by loading the leagues because i mean obviously europe dominates right in europe produces the majority of the good players in the world and that's true in fm probably in real life as well but i would say that most people don't load the brazilian the brazilian Serie A and the argentinian league but yet that still produces really good regions because their youth rating is so high and those clubs that it does still actually produce a certain number of players before they're all grayed out in Brazil and Argentina are still you know benefiting from those big clubs in those nations with their good youth recruitment and facilities and so on and so forth that's Chiati through maybe in on goal tries the outside of the boot shot it was actually blocked that one didn't stand too much of a chance of going in. But I'm just surprised at how good the region... Ooh, off the post. What, was that Martinez again on the header? God, he's so good. I'm surprised at how many good regions have showed up in Honduras. None of them are straight in starters. That guy on the le as a left back might be, as a 16-year-old. And he hasn't gotten a game from Montagua. So his first game is probably going to be, well, we have two friendlies. I scheduled two friendlies for the World Cup. Chiari over the top, good body position, finish that off, smashes it in. Ignacio Chiari does a little cartwheel and then a little sidestep back to position. This is just gorgeous stuff. We're just cruising right now. So after that left back's first game, if he doesn't get injured, it's probably going to be a World Cup game. No, because I'll, I'll, I'll get him up to speed probably and bring him in as one of our warm-up games. So we have two friendlies, is what I was saying, before Chiotti scores a nice goal. And we're playing um, Czechia, Czech Republic, at home. And then USA, Solano drives in. Ooh, cleared off the line, it looks like. Can we head it out? Lagos heads it kind of clear, but they're back in again. Good ball across, but Garcia is there. We're just too good. You can't mess with this. Garcia can play beautiful ball to Romero. Hits it over to Lagos. What can Lagos find? Plays it back. We're just playing so well right now. We're just fun to watch.
But I wanted to play, the game is in USA. I don't know where the friendly is, but all three of our games in the World Cup are in America. So I thought, let's play against US. They're good. They'll probably beat us by a lot. But Kiati again, he's off this time, but it's okay. It's still 5-1 aggregate and we just look so comfortable on the ball. And then the two opponents that we play, I think, play 4-2-3-1. So Czechia plays a 4-2-3-1. And then the third game we play is a 4-3-3, and that's what USA plays. So wanted to play against the formations that we're going to play against. Get our system in order. Just two friendlies. I think, I think that's better, usually. There's probably going to be some time in between the end of this season and the actual friendlies for the World Cup, so fitness is always going to be an issue. And the goal is obviously to just make it out of the group. Anything beyond that would be crazy with Honduras. But in the future, though, as Walter Lagos goes down injured, potential lower leg injury, I mean, as I'm talking about the World Cup, I planned on bringing Walter Lagos in just because I, he's 18 and he's going to be a future starter for the national team. He'll probably be like an 80, 90 cap kind, of cap kind of guy. I don't know if that's possible with a CONCACAF team. Maybe it is. But there's another left winger that could that he's basically like for like for who is probably has better mentality honestly. Who plays for Saprisa actually? That's a goal from Cervantes. Let's not let him back in here, gentlemen. Perhaps I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Martinez is actually playing kind of bad this game. They score here. We might have a little bit of a contest here. That's over the bar. Sanchez just watches it over. The other one, I think Marathon won. I wasn't really paying attention near the end of the game, but... We've played close games with them, too. Kiati header... Mendoza's way out of position. The header almost goes in, but it's off the woodwork. We need to bring in, where is, I'm missing a player. Did I not put him on the bench? Huh. Shoot. Well, you know what, Garcia can actually move up here. We'll do this. Which Marty I'll get injured. I haven't played Garcia as a center mid, but he can do it. God, look at our team is so complacent. We're actually going to go cautious. And just drop in a little bit. I think you can dribble. Play wherever you want to play. It's fine. Um, what else was I going to say? We got budgets already for next year, and it's the wage bill. I think, what are we on, 700000 here now? We're like nine hundred, but we're way below that. Um, it's just shy of $2 million. $2 million. All right, we're closing it out. Let's bring some subs in. So I don't know, apparently they're expecting a whole lot of money to come through, which is cool. Oh, I have been playing Romero this whole time, haven't I? Yeah, he's just not doing it. He still is out of contract. And people want him. I might hang on to him. There's some other young strikers I'm looking at, though. Zuniga gets, needs to get his fitness levels up. Fargas can come back in again. 
Is that five? One more. One of the probably probably kill Fox. Here we go. See the game out, boys. See it out. I prefer not to get a big ugly red donut this season, so it'd be nice if we just hang on to at least the draw here. Far post though, Kiati. Who was that who couldn't finish it? Mara Diago was right there. Whoa. Oh, well, this is Olympia's striker, by the way. Youngster, 17 years old. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This guy's going to be good. If they can sort out their goalkeeper position with the youngster and their center back position. Also, I haven't seen too many good midfielders. We actually have one in our youth academy who is like a broken ankle or whatever right now. But we get through the tie. I was just talking the entire time. We're in the final. Congratulations, we did the job. Smoked them in their house. Marathon gets through 3-0. Is that who we played? No, it was Platensi who we played in the final. Walter Lagos. How's your injury, son? Okay, three weeks isn't terrible. It's okay. We play Marathon. That'll be the next episode. Two-legged tie. Chance to get the double in Honduras. Chance to go an entire seven months undefeated. We've only ever lost two games here. Was it to Marathon? It was Platensi, who we played in the final. Marathon, we played against them. 2-0 win. 1-1 one, one away draw. We're filling our crowd. The last match, the second leg of the final, is at home. I'll show you, I guess, real quick what's going on in CONCACAF. Champions Cup, they're out to the final. Monterey looking to defend their final. Just look at the whole thing. So, although Lindsay did lose to Monterey, 3-1, to one, respectable performance. Tigres gets through. It's dominated by Mexican teams now. Unsurprisingly. And Monterey gets back to the final. It's against Pumas. So, this will be the next episode. Thanks for listening to me talk about stuff. We got another win. We're in the final. We'll see you in the next one. Adios. Adios.